Hi, this is JP from Know the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Marvel Champions LCG playthrough. And this time we are trying out the Jubilees pre-built Justice deck against Yunus on standard difficulty using the standard 3 encounter set. And also we are using the new encounter set that came with Jubilee, uh, it, what, which is called Arcane. So uh, let's see if Jubilee can thwart her way into victory against Yunus. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are set up here. So the last thing we need to do is to reveal one encounter card. We have the gene pool already in play. We have pursuit by the past in play. <coughs> and uh, we have set up uh, everything. So we will deal ourselves one encounter card. And that will be revealed once we revealed encounter cards. And that gets flipped. So we'll draw our opening hand. Let's see. So we have Gene, uh, X Gene, Jubilee's Coat, Plasmoid Energy, Three Steps Ahead, Cell Phone, and G X Gene. I think I'm just uh, trying to set up here so, uh, so at least. Okay, so we could actually put the shopping spree into play, so I'm using that. So we'll do the search our deck and discard pile for the shopping spree side scheme. So we'll let uh, Yunus get some thwarting done while we'll go shopping. So I'm keeping the player side scheme down here. And we might as well exhaust to remove one from there. Then uh, I'll set up a bit more. So we'll play use plasmoid energy to play Jubilee's coat. And I think I am using one of the X genes to play the X gene. And uh, I think that is everything we'll do. I'm getting rid of the cell phone. We'll draw back up to six. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. So our hand for the next round is Disguise, Cell Phone, Plasmoid Energy, Blinding, Flash, Waylay, and Three Steps Ahead. We'll go to the Villain Phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. And after resolving step one of the villain phase, place one threat on gene pool. So that gets bumped to five. And uh, Yunus schemes for one plus uh, place two threat on gene pool. Okay. So we are up to stalwart and retaliate on Yunus. And we get uh, two encounter cards. First, okay, so we get two infinite soldiers. So both have guard. So we'll need to get rid of them before we can start hitting Yunus. And uh, yeah, okay. So uh, those get also boosted. So. This minion also against search. Okay, so the first search is <laughs> into sinister strike. Uh, plus one per uh, counter and pursuit by the past. Then if it has any counter from it, this card can search. Well, okay, this is not not starting 
that we also search for the Sinister Strike. Genetic experiments uh, attached to an infinite minion, otherwise this card can search uh, that minion gets plus two hit points. Mm. And then the search for this one. Uh, prelate sidearm attached to Yunus, forced response after Yunus attacks, attacks and defeats an ally, plays one threat on gene pool, hero response after you make a basic attack against Yunus, spend uh, uh, energy and physical resource, discard this card. Okay, so <laughs> that didn't go that well, but it is what it is. We'll see if we can recover from this horrible start, so let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, let's see what we can really do here. So... We'll just defeat the shopping spree for now. And this doesn't have victory on it, so... Can we... Yeah, so uh, we defeat it, we'll search it uh, from our... Oh yeah, it needs to be in our deck, so it goes into our discard. We get to search our uh, deck and discard pile for an item card and put it into play. So, let's see... Uh, there are not that many item cards in this deck. So I think it's the Jubilee Sunglasses or the cell phone, but I'm not keen on putting the cell phone, so I will grab the uh, sunglasses. Uh, then I think it's time to flip to hero mode. Can we do anything to these guys? So this maybe maybe this. No. Okay, I think we're doing the three steps ahead. We need to remove a lot of threat from the gene pool. So we'll flip and uh, yeah, we can't generate the resource for this round, but we'll generate the resource with X gene. Uh, blinding flash. Uh, yeah, I think we might want to play that also to stun everybody. Yeah, so I'm playing that. So I only need to use two cards. So we have generated three resources, uh, different kind of resources for the blind flash. Yeah. Okay, so um, choose X enemies, I'll choose the infinite soldiers and Yunus because this isn't that attack, so we can go past the guard. Uh, so we choose those. We have three different resource types. Stun and confuse each chosen enemy. So that buys us some time. Now I just need to get this. Stun counters on these guys. Also, we need confused counters. Okay, but um, Okay, uh, before we do that, um, I forgot that the Yunus has stalwart, so we will do the gene pool reduction with the three steps ahead. 
and I'm committing uh, three different resources to play that. So we remove uh, a total of six from here. And now we'll do the second one. So, oh yeah, and uh, after you play a tort event, exhaust Jubilee's code and choose a scheme, remove one threat from this, that scheme for each different resource. So we'll do it on the gene pool. Actually, I'm uh, going back. So I actually used one to remove from here. So there should be three left here. So then we use Jubilee's code to remove the tree. So that is a better outcome. Uh, that is everything I can do this round. Uh, we'll ready up and draw back up to five. We get a uh, chamber, chamber, a uh, chamber, uh, multi-talented, flash of light, unlikely duo, and another multi-talented. We'll go to the villain face. We add one here and one here. Uh, Yunus tries to attack, uh, is stunned, so we cancel the attack. These also try to attack, so we cancel the attacks. Then we get an encounter card, which is Hall of Mirror. So this is the arcane set uh, card. Uh, Hall of Mir Mirror uh, comes into play with 2 plus 1 from Hinder. And when defeated, the player who defeated this side scheme is confused. If they were already confused, place two threat on the main scheme. So we'll put three threat there. And uh, yeah, that was the villain phase. Let's go back to the hero phase. Okay, so the last round, uh, we were able to stall for a bit, but uh, we are getting buried with all of these uh, side schemes and enemies now, so we need to start doing some damage onto these guys. And this guy has five health, so... Mm. I think we need to get rid of that with the flash of light. Plus, we can use Jubilee sunglasses. So, we will use Unlikely Duo. And we don't have enough to play Chamber. To play uh, Flashlight. And we can generate a third. So... Um, So, in, first of all, we can defeat the other one with Jubilee Sunglasses. Then we'll deal six damage to this. And that adds two threat to Gene Pool. And uh, we can't uh, remove threat from other schemes except for here at the moment, so... Uh, we are uh, not doing a lot. We have plus one thwart, so I think I will start thwarting that away. So we'll remove two from there. And we ready. Uh, uh, I think I'll go to Alter Ego this round. And we ready up. Uh, I'm getting rid of one of these multi talented. We get uh, Wele, disguise, multi talented, three steps ahead, grand finale, Wele, and multi talented. Uh, we have one or too many. Okay. And then uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here, one here. Uh, Yunus tries to scheme but is confused, so we 
get an encounter card. It is Infinite Soldier. And this minion against Quick Strike, so it doesn't matter, we are in Alter Ego, but it doesn't get Surge, so thank God. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next hero phase. We should be ready. Uh, I think I will head back to hero mode. Uh, we could actually could actually be in alter ego for a moment with the disguise. So I'm playing the down the disguise. And I'm exhausting my identity and uh, disguise, so I'll remove two threat from a scheme. So that confuses me. That is okay for this round. But uh, yeah, I, I missed the point here. <laughs> Yeah, because I'll go to hero mode either way. Because I want to play the grand finale. So uh, we'll play the grand finale. I'm using uh, X Gene. And I'll use Waylay. And uh, three steps ahead. So, uh, let's see, we will deal two damage here, removing the tough. We also get one from retaliate. Then we deal two here, two here, and with Jubilee Sunglasses, we deal three damage here. So that, that causes us to take another, yeah, because it's an attack event. So that was Grand Finale. Uh, we'll go to ready. So we draw four more cards. The Power of Justice, XG in three steps ahead, Waylay and Multi-Talented. <clears throat> we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here and one here. Uh, we will uh, Yunus attacks. I will defend uh, three. Plus three is six, so that, that is bad. <clears throat> I will take four damage, so we're really hurting at the moment. Uh, you're down to three health. And we get an encounter card, which is infinite prelate. Uh, when revealed, Yunus activates against you. I think we died. If the, the amount of threat on gene pool is at least uh, three, give Yunus a tough status card. That might be game over. Uh, it, it actually is. We don't have a way to defend, so we're taking three. And uh, after this activation resolves, place one pursuit counter. We don't even have to do that because we are defeated. So Yunus just pulverized us with that <laughs> that encounter card. But yeah, that's that's true solo Marvel champions for you. Um, what I can say about the deck uh, with uh, this limited play, uh, this was my play uh, blind play with uh, Jubilee's deck. Uh, I, I like the mechanics of the deck uh, so far. The uh, spending different kind of resources, comboing those with these cards, uh, the key is to get these cards into play as fast as possible. After that, you can start doing a lot of stuff with little uh, resources, like spending three resources on a turn 
uh, for one event and then doing the event and then either if it's an attack dealing three damage somewhere maybe onto the villain or getting rid of a tough um, or a hard uh, enemy or then thwarting and thwarting even more so uh, the deck seems like uh, an interesting one yeah i will definitely play it a bit more and uh, hopefully get get it rolling but we just got pulverized by the encounter deck for this scenario uh, first off we uh, had the gene pool too high which was a mistake i should have focused on getting that down b before it gets out of hand uh, then uh, these uh, infinite soldiers caused a search fest because i got two then about search then i got something that search again and yeah that that was just bad and uh, we were just about to get this stabilized but then uh, Yunus attacked twice having plus one here so that was just too much for jubilee with only nine health no allies to defend which is also bad in this scenario because every time an ally is defeated we place three threat onto the gene pool which makes Yunus even tougher so you really don't want to jump lock in this scenario if you don't have to but yeah overall i think i'll give jubilee a chance i'll try her again with this pre-built deck uh, on my own but uh, either way hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time